Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Eight o'clock, Sunday night. I'll wait for you, a few of you to jump on. I am going live on Instagram and on Facebook, so I'll be kind of looking at the two. <laughs> well, I wanted to say thank you for joining me. I um, am so um, honoured to be able to guide you through a meditation. Um, it's something that I have been practicing myself for probably around 12 years or something like that and definitely the most the last um the last five or seven years of doing it every day and it's definitely changed and impacted my life in a really really big way and I really would love to share that with you um so I've done a lot of different modalities of meditation, but today we're going to do heart meditation. And I've studied with the Institute of Heart Math, and Heart Math is an amazing institute. It does science and research and studies on the heart, um, and they've over the years have worked out that the heart um, has its own brain and its own memories that are stored there. And when you think about it, the heart, our hearts were with us before our brain were, was um, in the womb. So it's a very, very vital organ, not only to keep us alive, um, but also stores memory. So when we, um, when we uh, attract, when we start thinking of beautiful renewing emotions, and when I say renewing emotions, it's like, um, Renewing emotions are like appreciation, compassion, love, um, tenderness, gentleness, all of those beautiful renewing emotions, they do make us feel really good. Um, and so I'm going to guide you through a heart meditation this evening. Um, if you're tuning in, can you please let me know if you can hear me? I know last week um, the sound was a little off. So please let me know um, and I'll wait for a few of you to jump on. I've got my beautiful friend Smug here, Kristen Olds. She's a ceramic artist in, um, in Melbourne, Victoria. And it is very cold in Melbourne, if anyone's in Melbourne. <laughs> so um, I've got my winter woolies on today. So I have been pondering with the thoughts of um, the fact that we don't really take a moment in our lives to admire who we are. Um, we focus a lot on the negative which is a very human thing to do um, and we kind of forget of the forget the little successes in life the little wins that we have through um, our day, our daily wins. And they might be just getting up out of bed, um, making a cup of tea, um, and stepping out of the door. That's a win for some people. And we forget about those things. We're constantly thrown all these things in the media and on social media that we need to change who we are. We need to change, you know, there's all these anti-aging anti creams and we need to um, dye our hair and we need to step up into society's form of what we should look like. Um, but we forget that we need to admire who we are. So I um, am really pondering this thought and I'm trying to understand it, unpacking unpacking how we can sit back and really admire what, what we've done in our lives um, and acknowledging those parts of ourselves. So with that being said, um, if you are listening, could you just let me know if you can hear me? Can you hear me? Just say yes. <laughs> um, because that would be great if you can. Um, and um, 
will start meditating soon. I'm just waiting for a few more to jump on. But make sure you've got a really comfortable seat and it's a bit quiet around you. If it's not quiet, put those earplugs in, um, AirPods in and, um, and tune in. All you need to do is be comfortable um, and listen to my voice. And if this is your first time meditating, then just take it easy. Don't strain it yourself or um, feel like you need to be sitting a certain way. Um, just sit comfortably and um, listen to my voice. And we're going to close our eyes soon. And then you can uh, be guided by me. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Hopefully you have your beautiful, comfortable seat. And all you need to do is just take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And when you're ready, closing down your eyes, focusing your attention on your breath. Let's say it's in your belly, in your tummy. Feeling the breath in your belly as you breathe in, it will rise and as you breathe out, it will fall. Bringing your attention to that part of your body. And as the breath rises, as you inhale, as the breath falls, as you exhale. If you're having trouble finding the breath in your belly, you can put your hand on your breath, on your belly to feel the breath. Good, and just keep your attention there on your breath. And thoughts will come in and they'll come out, but just, just come back to that attention, that subtle attention on your breath. Good. And now we've created this beautiful awareness and attention on our breath. I'd like you to bring your awareness now to the center of your chest, your big, beautiful heart. Maybe you'd like to place a hand there on your chest, on your heart. And bring your awareness and your attention to that part of your body. And we call this heart-focused breathing. Breathing in. Breathing out. And just keeping your awareness there. Feeling the chest rise and fall with every breath in and every breath out.
And knowing that you can always come back to this heart focused breathing if you feel like your thoughts have gone into a bubble, a little thought bubble above you. Just come back to your heart and your heart focused breathing. And now I'd like you to bring to your mind and to your awareness a moment in your life where you were loving someone. Maybe you were holding somebody. Maybe you were loving someone from afar. Or maybe you chose love instead of judgment or something else. And choose one memory and moment in your life and really become intimate with it. What were you wearing? Where were you? Who was the person you were loving? And now you've become intimate with that memory. How does it make you feel? Notice the feeling. Good. <clears throat> Good. Just gently go, letting go of that memory now and coming back to your heart focused breathing. So focusing on the breath in your chest, in your heart. Breathing in and breathing out. Finding your anchor, which is your breath in your heart. Now I'd like you to bring to your mind and to your awareness a moment in your life where you felt triggered but you decided to show love instead. And you saw yourself feeling triggered but you went another direction into love. And again, notice where you were, who you were with. Become intimate with the memory. And now notice how you feel, how it made you feel. And notice the feeling in your body now as you recall this memory. Beautiful. And just gently letting go of that beautiful memory. And coming back to your heart focused breathing in and out.
And one last memory we're going to recall is picturing yourself laughing and having the best time. A big belly laugh. Where were you? Who were you with? How did it make you feel? Feeling this emotion in your heart space now. Maybe a little smile appears on your face. And now just letting go gently of that beautiful moment of watching yourself laugh and coming back to your heart focused breathing. Breathing in and breathing out from your heart, the center of your chest. And just noticing how you feel after this beautiful renewing emotions of love for yourself, admiring who you are in this life, in your life. And when you're ready, just coming back to the space you're in, opening your eyes, maybe a big stretch over the head. <laughs> coming back to where you are, thank you for joining me. How are you feeling? These meditations that I guide, I guide these every week, not just on here, but for other people. <laughs> and they have completely changed my life. When we can think of moments in our lives that are joyous and we appreciate them and we, we feel compassion and love and all these beautiful renewing emotions, um, it emanates out into the world. And what we bring our attention to or our focus to almost becomes what we see in the world. So if we can tune into our heart and a renewing emotion daily, even if it is for two minutes, three minutes, we can start to see that in our world. And I know that this sounds maybe a little bit esoteric, but I know for a fact that it works because it has worked for me <laughs> um, and it continues to. So um, I really believe in it and I'd I'm really happy to share it with, um, with all of you. <laughs> so I'm going to be here every Sunday at 8 o'clock. Um, and I hope you can join me next Sunday. If not, you can see the replay. Um, let me know if you enjoyed that <laughs> and um, I'd love to hear how you're feeling in the comments after feeling some beautiful renewing emotions um, because we know that we don't get to relish in those moments in our lives we tend to judge ourselves and we tend to focus on the negative a lot um, and so 
let's bring a little bit of love back into our day. Um, okay, thank you for joining me and I'll see you next week. Ciao. Mm-hmm. <laughs>